So here we are in Puerto Rico. This is the hotel I'll be staying at. It's right on the water on the eastern tip. We're at an elevation here of around 200 feet where I am right now. But that wind is going to be ripping off the water here later tonight and then all the way into tomorrow morning. So this is the hotel I'll be staying at for Hurricane Maria, right on the eastern tip of Puerto Rico. We have some outer bands coming in already. Just look at this view here, it's incredible. Got some heavy rain coming. Look at this trolley, this uh, whatever you call that thing that's bringing people up to the top. It's about 200 feet down. So we have no problem with storm surge here, but the fact that we're 200 feet up means we're going to get even stronger winds here um, than you're going to see at the surface. So I suspect uh, this area here is going to get hit pretty hard. So here we are in the eastern tip of Puerto Rico, and the outer bands of Hurricane Maria are already starting to make landfall here. I'm going to be watching real closely for water spouts and tornadoes with these outer bands. I expect conditions to deteriorate as the day goes overnight, and the worst will be first thing in the morning. Well, the sun is starting to set here on the eastern shore of Puerto Rico. It's starting to get dark. We're awaiting the arrival of Hurricane Maria. It's a really eerie evening. Look at these thick, dark clouds rolling in. You see these palm trees are already shredded from the last hurricane. Winds are starting to pick up here in Puerto Rico. If you look in the distance, there's a bunch of birds flying around. I hope they're going to be able to get to a safe area because these winds are about to get ferocious through here. It's getting dark. We're going to ride out most of this storm through the night. But the peak intensity will be making landfall, most likely right around daybreak.
So the storm has passed. The winds are starting to die down. The hotel got thrashed pretty good here at Hurricane Maria. But overall, I'd say it fared out pretty good. So here we are after the storm has passed. And we're all still hanging out in the safe room here. And they are feeding us. This hotel has done such a great job with everybody. Uh, it's amazing. Very comfortable. Usually you're on a hurricane chase, it's not that comfortable. But this has been this has been something else. So we're still here at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and um, they're feeding us. They've taken great care of us here. No worries, very comfortable, always felt safe. Very appreciative of the hotel staff. And now it's time to eat. So here we are at the pool area, the hotel area. And uh, we took a pretty good meeting here. It's a solid structure, a solid building. So we all survived.
What's going on here, Jim? <laughs> it's flooding big time on the road to the airport. Hope I make it. So we made it to San Juan Airport. It's really hot in here. Jim's drinking some water. Sweating bullets here. But anyways, we're in this really long line for American Airlines. We're hoping to get out of here at our scheduled time today. Um, it's been quite a journey just to get to the airport. Lots of flooding. But um, we made it to the airport. We got the, the car back. The hardest part's done. Now we just gotta wait. Can't wait to get back home. What do you have to say, Jim? Yeah. Uh, it'd be good to get back home and uh, land a USA. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do the best we can. So here we are, we made it to San Juan Airport here in Puerto Rico. It was quite a mission to get over here and uh, it's really hot inside here. We don't have any air condition. Uh, you can see behind me the long line of people back there. Uh, that's to get on the first American Airlines flight out of here, uh, which we have a, a ticket for. So. I think we'll be the first flight out of here, hopefully. There's currently not anybody at the American Airlines counters, though, so that's a little worrisome. But uh, we're here at the airport, and uh, we're almost home. So here we are in San Juan Airport, in Puerto Rico. And this line just stretches, as far as you can see, wraps around and goes to the American Airlines counter, where there's presently not one single employee at. Not too sure why. We're here waiting. 